Hey guys, welcome to the video today. In today's video, I'm going to be testing this WD-40 against these door hinges here. This door squeaks. Let me let you guys listen. But before we begin, make sure that you're wearing the proper safety equipment and take all safety precautions. I'm wearing a pair of safety glasses and a pair of nitrile gloves, and I'm going to be wearing a good quality mask as well before I do this. You also want to do this in a well-ventilated area. We have the window in this room open, and you wanna make sure that you read through all of the information that's on the can. Um, there's a lot of information and danger and first aid information. So make sure that you read through all of the information on the can before you use the WD-40. Okay, so I'm going to let you guys listen to the door again just so you can hear the squeak. And um, I'm also, I have some paper towels that I'm going to be using uh, to try to stop some of the overspray and to try to catch um, any drips if there are any. So I'm going to put on the rest of my safety equipment and then I'll be back and we'll go from there. Okay, so I have some paper towels here and then um, it says here to the directions, um, shake can well. So I'm going to shake the can up here. I'll do this for a little bit longer and then I'll be back. Okay, I'm going to take the cap off here. And then I'm going to take this piece here and I'm just going to put it in here. And you want to be careful when you do this that you don't accidentally depress um, the spray nozzle. So, and I'm just pointing this away from uh, myself or anybody else. Just kind of holding on to the back of the spray nozzle um, just to try to help this piece go in. There it goes. I could kind of feel it um, go into place. Okay, so I'm just going to start at the top here and just try to put a little bit in each of the, the spaces here. And I'm just going to hold the paper towel um, to try to help protect the other surfaces. So let's start here. I'm just trying to start with a little bit. Okay. Oh yeah, and you can see that's just moving down. Okay. Yeah, that's why it's good to have the paper towel. Um, it really started to drip there. Okay, so I'm just gonna wipe the excess WD-40 um, off of the outside of the hinge. A little bit got on the door there too. So now I'm going to do the same thing with the next hinge here. Okay. And I'm just kind of getting the WD-40 where I can. 
And then what the plan is, is when I open and close the door that hopefully on the inside of the hinge, it will move that around. Okay. And I'll come back later and kind of clean up. You can see like some of the grease or whatever that is from the door hinge um, is kind of, uh, you know, getting moved around. But I'm going to come back in a little bit and I'll clean that up. So, and yeah, I mean, look at the paper towel here. Um, it was a good idea to, to have the paper towel. Okay, so now... Here's the last one. And I'm just being really gentle when I'm pressing down the spray nozzle because I noticed that on this one at least, the WD-40 um, comes out pretty fast. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to remove this piece and then put the cap. Let's just do that now. Same thing, you want to be careful that you don't accidentally depress the spray nozzle. And I'm just pointing this away from me and anybody else. And then I just pulled that out like that. And I'm going to put the cap on. And it's got a spot here on the top for this piece. Just be careful because it is a pinch point. Um, and I'm just going to... Push that into place like so. Okay. Okay, uh, let's test the door out and see what it sounds like. I got WD-40 on these gloves, I think, so I'm just going to take these off really quick. Okay, so I'm going to open the door now. Okay, so I already opened the door and it didn't squeak, but I'm just going to continue to kind of open and close the door here a couple times or a few times. Just hopefully uh, moving around the WD-40 and the hinges. And you can see the squeak is completely gone. Okay, give me a minute. I'll be right back. I'm going to get a new pair of nitrile gloves and I'm just going to get a couple paper towels that are like a little bit wet with water and I'm just going to try to clean up some of these like grease marks on the hinges and then um, we'll go from there. All right, guys, I just have some paper towels here and this is just water. I've just got the paper towels a little bit wet and I'm just going to kind of slowly and gently just clean on the sides of where the hinges are, where some of the overspray might have went, and also where some of that uh, grease was. And I'm just cleaning on the sides of where the hinges are, like on the door and on the frame here. Um, just be careful not to pinch your hand or anything. Um, but just where some of the overspray might have been, and then also where some of this grease is. I'm just trying not to touch the hinge, I'm just trying to get the, um, if there's any overspray or 
you know, grease or anything. And like I said, just be careful because, you know, um, there's pinch points in here. So just take your time and, okay, that one looks pretty good. And then you can see, you know, it's you can see, I can see like some of the WD-40 on the door there. So I think there was some WD-40 over there too. And like all of this, this was there before the WD-40. This is just from the grease or whatever it is from the door hinge just over time. So I'll clean that up separately, but you know, that's what that is anyways, so. I think I think it looks pretty good so all right guys um, and now I just have some dry paper towels some dry and clean paper towels and I'm just going to um, dry up the areas where I was cleaning and just be careful and take your time because of pinch points Alright guys, I hope this video was helpful and thank you so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Have a good one! Thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment and if you have the time, check out these other great videos.